in this session we'll be basically discussing about the details of archaeobacteria as i've already told you about archaeobacteria that in six kingdom classification system they have received their different kingdom so today we'll have to see how are they different from you bacteria and why did they receive the different kingdom and what is so special about archaeobacteria if you can talk about archaeobacteria are also called ancient bacteria or they are the oldest living fossils by this particular quote the question comes the oldest living fossil is your answer comes as an archaeobacteria now when we talk about the differences between you bacteria you is true bacteria and archaeobacteria the major differences are with the cell wall and cell membrane if you can talk about cell wall of most of the monera member or you bacteria they are made up of peptidoglycans but peptidoglycan is not present in the cell wall of archaeobacteria when you talk about cell wall cell wall is there in archaeobacteria but it is not made up of peptidoglycans it is made up of some complex polysaccharides and polypeptides so one among the differences between archaeobacteria and new bacteria is archaeobacteria the cell wall is not made up of peptidoglycans and new bacteria it is basically made up of peptidoglycans when you talk about the second difference which is in the level of cell membrane so cell membrane in most of the organisms it is lipoproteinaceous what is lipoproteinaceous now it is made up of lipids and proteins and when you see the lipids the lipids are arranged in the simple chains but when you talk about archaeobacteria they have got branch chain which is very important thing they have the branching among their lipid chains so this branching make them you know survive at harsh climate this has got more resistant capacity and because of this resistant capacity archaeobacteria can survive in harsh and adverse conditions very important thing most of the organisms they may die in these harsh and adverse conditions but archaeobacteria they survive because of the branching of the lipids in their cell membrane which does not disrupt the cell membrane integrity and allow archaeobacteria to live in those harsh and adverse conditions so those harsh and conditions can be what you call methane presence where most of the organisms die archaeobacteria survive and such archaeobacteria are called methanogens next is halophiles the file means loving halo means saline so archaeobacteria can also live in high extreme salinity thomasinophiles are the third class of bacteria uh, what you call archaeobacteria where file is again loving acid there are a lot of acidic condition the ph may go up to 2 and there is lot of temperature even so the archaeobacteria can survive in any of these conditions and thus there are three groups of archaeobacteria methanogens halophiles and thermoacidophiles in the next session we'll be detailing you about methanogens